All right, welcome to my stream. So I might look like a young uh, Steve Smith, but I'm actually Jared O'Leary. So I'm going to be working on chops today, chopping out on the pad, and then I'm gonna switch over to work on some limb independence on the drum kit and whatnot. So I've been playing for over 20 years, most of it focusing on rudimental chop and technique stuff, and uh, just kind of been working on drum kit for funsies. So you're gonna see how I practice. You're gonna see all of the mistakes that I make and the things that I do to try and work through those mistakes to try and improve it. Hopefully this helps you with your own drumming and whatnot. That's the intended goal. If you're watching this after the fact on YouTube, you can jump around by clicking the description. It has uh, timestamps for different sections of different things that I'm working through. If you're watching this live, feel free to play along and feel free to ask me some questions on Twitch. Happy to do that. So I have uh, demonstrated a bunch of ways that I will warm up with like pulling out some sheet music on my website or playing along to like drumline recordings and whatnot. But today I'm gonna show you like another thing that you can do. So you can actually just um, kind of improvise whatever you want. Warming up just with a metronome. So I got it set to 110. And so what I'm going to do is just play anything I want. It can be just straight double stops, alternating clams, whatever. So I haven't played yet. So this is just me warming up. Just to get the blood flowing. And then I'm gonna stretch and massage. Stretch and massage, I can't say that word apparently. Yeah, definitely not warm yet. Those fours aren't happening right now. This is a good way to just get blood moving. can see it but my veins are starting to fill up with blood that's great one of the things that you can do when you are doing a warm-up like this where you're just like making up whatever you want is pay attention to what is not sounding great and that can give you some goals for th some things to work on if you don't have a plan for that particular practice session that you're doing Something like that. I forget what that exercise was called, and I forget how it goes at the end. Cool. Okay. Good enough for me. And pause. So what I'm going to do now is stretch and massage. Just to kind of further loosen everything up. Okay, so I've got my sticks. I'm gonna hold them in my palm and move one in, follow with the other. Oh, it's tight on my right arm, right wrist in particular. Hmm, I wonder why. 
Stay tuned, we'll find out. Oof. All right. Yeah, I don't know what's up with my wrist. Hmm. Might not be able to drum super fast today. We'll find out. Okay, so now I'm going to stretch the tendons, so the underside of the forearm. So I'm going to just kind of do both at the same time. Give you a view of my head. You're welcome. And then I flip it over. Now I'm going to stretch the top of the forearms and just kind of do both at the same time again. I just realized I did not post it on uh, going live. Let me do that right now. Share it now. I had it sitting and waiting. Yay! All right, cool. All I had to do is click two buttons. All right, so now that I have uh, stretched out the arms, I'm going to stretch out the fingers. So I'm doing thumb to thumb, so I can stretch both hands at the same time. I'm a big fan of saving time. Which is why I do both. All right. Index finger. Then go into the middle finger. Oop. And then the ring finger. Which I do have a ring on it, so you may hear some clicking when I'm drumming. That's what the that's what's going on, so I kinda sometimes do that. All right. Now that I've stretched, I'm going to massage to just further relax things. Sometimes I need to stretch or massage like the upper arm, which depends on like what I did the previous couple of days. But I think I'm all right so far. I'm just trying to loosen everything up. There may be some lactic acid build up. So you can kind of break that apart. A wee bit. Okay, switch to the other forearm. If you have any questions while I'm streaming live, feel free to ask them about drumming or life, whatever. If you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, feel free to ask them in the comments and I can address it in an upcoming video. Or if it's short enough, I can address it in the comments itself. Okay, now I'm going to massage the palms and the fingers. So I'm doing the back of the hand as well. Okay, switching the hand. Oh, I just realized my lighting's a little off right now. Should turn that on. I'll be right back. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna stretch, or rather massage each one of the fingers. So I'm starting at the base, moving to the tip. I usually do this two times, sometimes three or four. It just depends on how the finger's feeling. Oh, like that finger is feeling tighter than the others. So I just spent a little more time with it, just trying to loosen everything up. Okay, now I'm doing the other hand. And after I finish the stretch and massage routine, then I'm going to go and do a post warm up, and then I'm just going to work on some chop stuff before I switch over to drum kit. But for some reason, my hip is hurting. I don't know why. All right, let's go back and do this. But we're going to go faster. So after I do my stretch massage, I like to do a post warm up. That's a little bit faster. Just kind of push my hands and whatnot to play a little bit quicker. It doesn't sound as good all the time, but it's training my brain to think faster.
computer that I'm monitoring this on uh, just froze up. So hopefully uh, the stream is actually going to work today. Internet's been a little unstable the last few days, and it froze up again. Cool. Good times. We'll find out when I review it after the fact. Blood's flowing, hands feel okay, so that's good. That was the point. All right, so now that I've warmed up with this, I'm actually gonna switch over to my website, which I will include a link to, just to make it easy for you to quickly find the resources that I'm going to be sharing. But to do that, you just got to go here. If you go to jaredoleary.com and then you check out the top part that has the menu, you go to right here, and traps and technique is where I'm going to be focusing on stuff today. At the time of this recording, there's like just under 700 hours of content on there, so enjoy. That'll keep you busy for a while. And if you want to watch any of the other prior streams that I've done, if you click on this, it takes you to a YouTube playlist, and currently it has 30 videos in here at the time of this recording. So every single time I record something, I'll release it on here. So it stores it so you can check out different ways that I practice different things on different percussion instruments. Okay. I'm going to just focus on just like chopping out today just for fun. Not necessarily focusing on any anything in particular. I just want to enjoy jamming. So... I'm going to do this for, uh, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes, and I'm going to work on some drum kit stuff. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let's just go in order. Chief Human Resources Officer. Oh, boy. I got an ad. I'm not monetized. Look, I only have 321 subscribers. You can't get monetized with that. YouTube's making money, and I'm not. But that's okay. All right, let's start at 140. Do music, what? <laughs> I want to see what the closed captioning is for this. It's going to be auto-generated. Music, okay. <laughs> it would have been great if it, like, transcribed it. I would have given some mad props. Okay, I'm going to turn up the volume. It was too quiet for me. And let's go back. speed dish up i want to chop out on all of these so i'm going to try and intentionally find my breaking point with these exercises and um just doing that for funsies just trying to push my hands and my brains to think faster so this one is four two one zero shopping spree i'll narrate it while we go it starts off with normal shopping spree flam drags and uh cheeses four counts of all these that's important flam fives chut a chut Inverts. Cheese. Chutta chut. Cheese inverts. Chut cheese. Two counts. Flam drags. Cheese. Flam five. Chutta chut. Inverts. Cheese chutta chut. Cheese invert. Chut cheese. One count. Zero. 
Oh, I slurred out that last right hand diddle on the Chuck Cheese. Yeah, so the zero, you take away all of the checks. So you go straight from drag into cheese into flam five. So, like that. It's fun. Let's find my breaking point. One sixty. <laughs> Calm before the storm. Oh, I played the wrong part. That wasn't the chop thing. That was just a brain thing. I was like, oh, yeah, there's a different rudiment there. No, there's not, Jared. Okay. I'm playing with heavy sticks, by the way. I'm playing with the Hardeman hammers, and they're like twice the weight of the normal sticks. So these really work the chops, and my nose is really itchy, I guess. No okay. clip. 170. Lower the heights a little bit. Oh, slur that out. Oh, that was, I don't know, even know what happened there. Oh boy. Oh boy. my breaking point anyways my arms are like no don't do that again cool yeah that was fun i enjoy that one it's a good shopping spree i need to write more of these chop exercises out <laughs> cool another ad that window doesn't work very well apparently it's stuttering oh okay cool blue devil's 99 shopping spree so what i did is i just skipped to the next video in the chop playlist that's on my website Let's scroll down, and let's just start at 140 again. Boop. Oh, you know, got to unmute it. This is a fun shopping spree. Played by the 99 snare line for Blue Devils. This book report part's cool. That one. Yeah, so that booker part is fun. Let's chop out with this. Let's find my breaking point. Let's go to 150. slow on that very last measure I think 165 is probably gonna be my breaking point on this one 160 is gonna be a little hairy and 165 is gonna be like no especially in the last two lines
Definitely feeling it. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I do these trap out sessions whenever I'm just like feeling like I just want to have fun with drumming and don't necessarily want to work on technique. Today's one of those days. Still helps me improve doing this. Woo! That's hard. It's <laughs> so fast. Oh, I love it. Let's go faster. It's really find my breaking point. 170 is not going to go good. That's okay. I'm just here to have fun. Making music. Trying to push my hands. That last line. Let's try it again. Yep, that's how you play it. Whew. Okay, that was fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you, Blue Devils 99 snare line, for writing a cool beat. Uh, what is going on in that advertisement? Is that coming out of him or going up? Maybe I don't want to know. <laughs> uh, okay, this is a family-friendly stream. <laughs> Thanks for that ad, Incognito. Okay, let's start this one at 100. So this is the second half of what Blue Coats is calling uh, Susie. So this is uh, technically not Susie, but they added it to it. With a twist. Don't know what happened there. Here's a twist. It's a book report variation. Cool. All right, since this one's 16th notes, it's, uh, I'm going to go by fives rather than 10 clicks. Let's do 105. 115 is probably going to be my breaking point for this today. I will attempt 120, but we'll see. weird like I got a tightness on the side of my left hand and then it just like didn't want to play it and I was like fine and then my hand's like okay and I was like chill and the hand's like all right I will all that happened in that moment in case you're wondering
happened? What happened? Are us doing fine? I don't know. You're just here to witness it, I guess. Yeah, come up. Gotta remember to do the scroll wheel walk lock or it does that. Ugh. Talking messes me up. a little bit and uh i'm gonna attempt it because i said i would here we go do i want to a hit it go really got my hands going that's wonderful what also is wonderful is like i've gained five subscribers in the last hour which i wasn't expecting that's a lot in that short amount of time so thank you for anyone who subscribed on here it was at uh 316 right before i jumped on so cool i wonder if they're here for the drumming or the gaming stuff which by the way my my channel has a ton yeah i know you don't need to hear two of me my channel has a ton of content on it so like if you look at this like there's drumming there's elden ring there's drumming there's fortnite there's drumming there's elden ring like it just keeps going with like hey here's exercises to play through there's a ton so this video that had uh, myself Is interrupting myself yeah stop doing that thanks this video basically says hey you could go to each of these links on my website you could also scroll through the sections in here, and if you just click on the header for it, then boom, it takes you like only to the drumming content or only to the gaming content, etc. So those are some quick ways that you can quickly sort through it. And the last one is just go to the playlist. So I fully realize there's a ton of content on my website and on my YouTube channel. That is intentional. I didn't want to put it into separate stuff because um, I am a multiplicity. I have many identities revolving around drumming, gaming, and CS. So I'm going to share it all in the same spot. Oh, and I guess another way that you can get to it is like the links right here. So this has links specifically if you want to go to the podcast or the gaming stuff, etc. So hopefully that helps you out to be able to sort through my content pretty quickly. Uh, let's go is back. Nope. Uh, nope, not in this one. I'm gonna skip fast, slow, fast, and slow, fast, slow. I do that in some other. Um, what if you could play any song? I do that in other uh, streams and whatnot. Um, but for this one, I want to just do chops. So the slow, fast, slow is great for like working up a rudiment or like a. Uh, I don't know, like a. I've done it with like tenor patterns, like doing around the world crossovers or whatever, or even like a groove on the drum kit. You could totally do that too. Um, but just read the description inside of the slow, fast, slow. It tells you like how to use it or watch some of the prior streams that I've done on it. All right. So normal Susie, this is the just straight Susie, nothing else added on top of it. Like the blue coats version where they added in some extra things. It has lyrics. I'm not going to share those lyrics because this is family friendly. there at the start and then my diddle opened up a little bit in the left on that last half but that's okay uh 105 
just try it. Let's go straight to 120. Why not? I really want to get into the drum kit independent stuff today. gave up halfway through. <laughs> cool. All right. Let's go back. All the way back. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to transition over to drum kit independence. But before that, I want to do one more chop out thing. So I know this whole session was working on chops, but I also just kind of want to specifically end these with playing something as fast as I possibly can. And so I'm going to do... I want to do 16th note grid with diddle variations. And I'm going to do diddle on taps. Bunch of different variations in here. Where be ye? Diddle on taps. And we're going to do this the last few clicks. So we're going to do 156 to 160, so the last five reps. Slow down. All right, last rep. Here we go. slow down oh wow look at that like all the veins are full of blood see that <laughs> that right there by the way is the chop muscle so when you move your hand like that when people refer to chops that's like the primary muscle that you use unless you're using like rotary for um traditional grip it's all about that muscle and so that's not, that's just moving it up and down. It's not like trying to flex or something like that. Anyways. Whew, that got my heart rate going. I love it. I'm going to transition over to drum kit. All right. So we are now back on my website and we're going to go up to the drumming content and drum kit independence and charts. And so this has some different exercises that can be worked on and whatnot as well as some merch like the shirt that I'm wearing in different colors and styles and whatnot. Okay, I'm going to be working through this book. It's called 50 Ways of Syncopation. It's by Dom Moyle. And you can actually find a link to this if you just go up to gear I use and then go to books. There's a link right there. Check it out, okay? Oops, too far. So... In this book, it's got a bunch of different ways to work through syncopation exercises. So I am specifically going to actually start going through each of these 
just one after the next. So what I've been doing in other streams is I would go through it and just kind of pick one that sounds fun and looks interesting and whatnot. But a lot of these I've forgotten. And so I need to just be more disciplined in terms of I'm just going to go straight through every single one of these. And if it sounds good, cool. I can check it off and I can move on. If it does not sound good, okay, then I need to sit there and continue to work through it. So the very first one is Swung Symbol. So ding, ding, ding. And then Hi-Hat on Tune 4 and Snare plays a line. This one I know I can do very easily, but I'm just going to read through some charts really quick. Let's do... This at 200. Bing, bong, bong, bong. Oh, wow. Buy followers, primes, and viewers? Oh, cool. I can become a pro streamer. Thanks for the ban. Hope you have a good day, bot. It's happened yesterday as well when I was transitioning over to drum kit. Something about the drum kit just brings the bots out. Here we go. Ready, and. So just reading the charts with the snare. One, a two, a one, two, ready, and. Ready and... Feels a little close. One, two, I want two. Ready and. Maybe it's not the hi-hat. Maybe it's my seat. My throne. One, two, ready, and... Let's try it. One, a two, a one, two, ready, and. Let's see what the next one is. Short on snare, long on bass. Okay. So same idea in terms of left foot and the right hand. But now I'm going to... Ooh. 
long notes on the bass and the short on the snare drum. Let's go to the next set of charts. So I was just doing one through five. Let's do six through ten. Yeah, let's try two hundred. That was quick when I did it yesterday with the Tenuto stuff, but I think this one will be a little bit easier. Two hundred. Chart six through ten. Short on snare, long on bass. A one, two, ready, and you can improvise here at the start, or just keep time up to you. A one, a two, a one, two, ready, and. One, two, a one, two, ready, and. Ironically hairy. Everything broke down. I was okay. I was able to recover. Uh-oh. at the edge of my abilities on this one. That's okay. It's fun. I'm enjoying it. Doesn't sound amazing, but I'm in having fun. Here's the interesting thing about this. So, if you can see, I wrote down uh, next to this different BPMs for where I'm at. And so for this one, I wrote down 180. That was previously where I was like comfortable with. And so that was just 200 where I was just doing. So progress, that's great. I'm gonna go to the next one out. So it says right hand plays the line on Tom, left hand fills triplets on snare, Left foot plays hi-hat on two and four. Okay. And I previously did this one at 135. So everything that you're going to hear is going to be played with short notes. Snare filling in. Long notes. While I have the foot going with this one, okay? And I'm not gonna do that 200. I don't wanna jump from 135 as my previous personal best to 200. Uh, 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 let's do, let's try 140. Bing bong. 
Oop, forgot to open. 140. So five clicks faster than the previous personal best. A one, two, ready, am. A one, a two, a one, two, ready, and. I figured, hey, this is going to be comfortable enough just playing the first line or so. Uh, I might as well put the long notes on the four tom and the short notes on the, the high tom. And... mess it up. Wah, wah. Overall, it's going fine, though. It feels comfortable. One, two, ready, and... Ah! Spoke too soon. Ironic. Should say it's a little eyebrow y. That's basically all I got right around here. Not amazing, but good enough. Mm -mm -mm. 
Right hand plays short notes on tom, long notes on bass drum. And ride. Left hand fills on triplet, high hand on two and four. Okay. Let us, let us go back to charts one through five. I really need to write more charts. But this book, by the way, it has 20 different charts in here. So, like, there's a ton of resources in here. I highly recommend checking it out. Dom is a, a former drum set a professor or teacher that I worked with. He's phenomenal. Like, hands down, one of the best drummers I've ever seen. And for context, like, taught Steve Gadd's kid how to play drums. So, like, when Steve Gadd goes to you to teach their kid how to play drums, that kind of tells you the quality of, of Dom. So, fun fact. Um... Let's do 140 again, and I'm just going to add in the bass drum. So instead of playing it on here, I'm going to add the bass drum and play on my ride. Actually, let's do 145. Whoop. No, not 160. Silly. Uh, here we go. Let's try 145. I want to push it a little bit more. Okay. A one, two, a one, two, ready, and...
my improv skills, I'm just like not into it today. Improvising. But reading charts? Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, not bad. And it's 10 clicks faster than what I previously did. So that's great. Time for a break. Or more like, time for a word from today's sponsor, Sludge. Providing you an ASMR experience with Jared O'Leary. Let's see what else we're going to play right now. All right, so we did one through four. Let's see what five is. Swing symbol, okay. I had in tune four. Bass drum plays the line and the snare drum fills in. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't know if my foot's up to that task. Uh, especially not at 146. It said I previously did this at 130, but mm, I don't know. My foot mm, hasn't felt great the last last couple of days. Let's try 120. I'll just do the same charts. Oh, one, two, ready, and. So I'm playing. Like that. A one, two, we'll see how this goes. One, two, ready, and. Actually, a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. I might be able to try it at 130. So let's do that. Uh, uh, uh. So this was my previous personal best. Two, ready, and... A one, hey Taco, good morning, one, two, ready, and... Oh, come on, foot. That's weird. With those back to back eighth notes filling in with that triplet partial. It's fun though. A wand? It's like Elden Ring. It's kind of like fun, but tortures you a little bit. Ah! Ah! 
It's funny, I'm noticing that while I'm playing these patterns, especially on the eighth notes, on the back-to-back, -back, my jaw is like slightly opening and closing, so <laughs> I might have to make a little post where I'd actually zoom in to show it happening. Messed up the snare on that last part. That's okay. I haven't played this one in a long time. Like, maybe a year or two. A one, a two, a one, two, ready, aim. Let's go. A one, a two, a one, two, ready, and. That was a weird one. Cool. All right, let's see what the next one is. So that was five. So six is song symbol, short notes on snare, long notes on hi-hat with the left foot. And I previously did that at 170. Okay. Let's try it. Nope. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to do it with the Tenuto, so let's try 170. I don't know how it's going to go, but we will find out together. I want to ready and. So you could do it as a shup or a close on the long notes.
All right. Not bad. Better than I thought. I don't know how well you can hear the hi-hat shups, but they are happening. A one, two, ready, and... Uh-oh. A one, two, ready, and... I want to ready and roll eight. eight. Uh oh. There we go. Oh yeah, there's another chart. <laughs> I'm gonna stop there. Not bad. Let's see what's next. Um, just did that one. All right, so seven. Bossa Nova. Accent the line in 16th note paradiddles. Single, double, triple, and paradiddle diddles will work on most figures. Okay, this one is weird. Really weird. So we have... The bossa pattern with the feet. The long notes will be paradiddle, paradiddle. Short notes, alternating. Etc. Okay, it's funky. But I like it. Alright, let's go back to my website. We need to get onto some, whoops, drum kit independence. Straight drum charts. Previously, I worked at this up to 135. Mm, that seems ambitious right now. Let's try it. I mean, who knows? Maybe it'll sound fine. 135, 135. See how this goes at one thirty five. Two, ready, and oh, my hi hat's moving. Two, a one, two, ready, and. Oh. 
Ah, oh, cool. All right, that's fun. I like it. A one, a two, a one, two, ready, and... the pattern it's not comfortable yet but it's not a complete train wreck i can at least do it two a one two we're at the end paradiddle 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 little paradiddle 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 Last one was funky. Cool. I dig it though. Alright, let's see how. Next up. Alternating triplets on snare, starting with the right hand, accents in line, hi hat in two and four. Uh. Okay. This one and the next one are basically the exact same one. So you're just playing. But the second one after this is. Long notes are on the bass drum, and then if it's on the right hand, it's going to be on the ride, and if it's on the left hand, it's going to be on the crash for the long notes. So I'm going to do the second variation of this. All right. It's like a piece of pineapple. Chewy. We're going to go to charts 11 through 15. 
And we need to go back to Swung. Mm-hmm. 11, through 3, 5, 11, 11 through 15 are much harder for this particular one. So it's a good one to work on. And I think 120 was my max previously. So let's try it. I might have myself. That's okay. I'm practicing. Not performing. One, two, ready. These charts are so hard with this pattern. I love it. It's like an Elden Ring boss. Two, a one, two, ready, aim. Oops. I don't, I don't know what happened there. Come on, brain. Wake up. Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, aim. great until the last measure. I really like that one. That was a fun one to play with this variation. It sounds groovy. It feels good. A one, two, a one, two, ready, aim. That was weird. Still gotta keep working on this one, <laughs> especially this last line that's coming up. If I can focus enough, maybe I can do it. Let's find out. Stay tuned on this episode of Jared Hit Stuff. I nailed it. There were no mistakes at all. All right. So, still stuff to work on. That's okay. Oh, well. 
two, here we go. So where it was a month ago, whew, compared to now, it's so much better. Progress. Still not great, but progress. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this one is the same thing, but harder. So you just add in diddles on every one of the taps. Um, let's try a 120. This one's a fun one to just, like, fly through really fast. The problem is you're probably not going to hear all the notes on the EAD-10. So we have, uh, let's let's say it's just long notes. Ugh. So previously it was this. Now I'm going to add in a diddle. Or... You probably can't hear all those notes on here because the EAD doesn't pick up all of them, but here it is with the microphone. So short notes, long notes. So. etc. It sounds good on an acoustic kit, but on this drum trigger, it's uh, not really expensive enough to get all those little notes. All right. I want to, here we go. I want a two, one, two, ready, aim. That one is a weird chart to play with this. It's fun, but oh, it messed me up a couple more times, obviously. Here we go. One, two, a one, two, ready, and... recovery yeah good recovery on that was not great playing but the fact that I was able to recover still playing in time cool count that as a win at least while practicing <laughs> there's a performance uh, ready and
Uh, two. I'm just messing around, by the way. Ready, and... Not great. Got a bit off at the end there, but that's all right. All right, I'm almost at the end. I don't know if I want to play one more or call it there. Let's see here. Samba feet, play the hands in unison, right on right, snare on left. Yeah, let's do that. That's how I'll close it out. Close it out, giving my foot a nice workout. Let's go back to some straight charts. All straight drum charts. And I previously did this at, oh, well, double time, 100. All right, let's try 180. Well, mm, let's try 200. That's what I previously did it at for these charts. I don't think my foot's going to be able to do it. So let's find out. It'll be a good way to chop out with my foot, my right in particular. One, two, ready, and... A one, two, a one, two, ready, and... Honestly, better than I thought. I want to, I want to, ready, and. Got a little off on that like second line in particular. I was able to recover, so that's good. One, two, ready, in.
Getting a little slow, it's getting tired. Two, ready, and Overall, not bad. It was a good, good session to chop out on, on the practice pad. It was uh, fun playing all the drum kit stuff. So I got through, what was that, the first 11 out of 50 on here. My goal is I'm going to do all 50 of these, and once I get all 50 of them, I'm then going to do a stream where I just go through every single one of them all in a row uh, until they start to get comfortable. And then I'll just kind of make up my own variations and whatnot. So... Anyways, if you stop by, like Taco, I hope you all have a good rest of your day. I will be on Elden Ring, hopefully within an hour. I need to metamitate. And, uh, yeah, so that's my next goal. Hey, Taco. Good to see you stuck around. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna go meditate, and I'm gonna raid somebody's channel. Who should we raid? Hmm. All right, let me actually pull up these channels. There's actually three people. Whoa, uh -oh. it's actually uh, myself. There's three people that I could raid right now that I've all watched them play before. So these people are doing song requests. Um, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this one. So SP loves drums. So raided their channel. I don't know, maybe last weekend. And dude can play like a uh, fantastic, very musical. Really enjoyed it. So very different stream than what I was doing in terms of like trying to be more educational, just show you how I practice. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and raid SP Loves Drums. And here we go, loading up. Anyways, hope you all have a good rest of your day, and I will catch you later.